welcome to who is. If is the first time you are watching, make sure, you like, subscribe and turn on the notifications bell, it is free for you, but it will help the channel to grow. How Kite Surfing Came to Be Kiteboarding Also called kitesurfing is a sport that has become more famous over the past few decades. Even though no one knows for sure where kiteboarding came from. There is proof that different versions of the sport have been around for hundreds of years. Some historians think that kiteboarding started in the 13th century when a Chinese philosopher and inventor named Wan Hu, made a sled that was driven by a kite. Some people look to the Polynesian culture, where canoes were moved across the water by kites. Sailors in the 1800s used kites to pull boats into and out of ports. Later, at the beginning of the 20th century, kites were used to take pictures from above and were even used as weapons during war. But kiteboarding as we know it today didn't start to take shape until the 1970s. In 1977, a Dutch man named Gijbertus Adrianus Panhuis got a patent for a water sport apparatus that was a combination of a kite and a board. At the time, Panhuiz's idea didn't get much attention. But it set the stage for how kiteboarding is done today. In the 1990s, some windsurfers in Hawaii started trying to pull their boards with kites. Kiteboarding quickly became popular. And by the early 2000s, it was a famous sport all over the world. In Maui, Hawaii, in 1998, the first race for kiteboarding was held. Kiteboarders from all over the world showed up for the challenge, which was the first of its kind. Over the years, the sport has kept getting better, with new tools and ways of doing things being made all the time. The use of hydrofoil boards has been one of the most important changes in the past few years. These boards allow riders to lift off the water and fly across the surface. Today, Kiteboarding is a recognized sport that is run by foreign groups like the Foreign Kiteboarding Association, IKA, and the Global Kite Sports Association, GKA. The sport has also been recognized by the International Olympic Committee. It will be an Olympic sport for the first time at the Summer Olympics in Paris in 2024. In the end, the past of kiteboarding isn't very long, but it's been filled with new ideas and experiments. From kite-powered sleds to kiteboarding, the sport has come a long way and is now famous all over the world. Kiteboarding is becoming more famous and is now an Olympic sport. So it is likely to keep changing and bringing in new people for many years to come. As kiteboarding has become more popular, safety and rules have become a point of contention and discussion. Some places have banned or limited kiteboarding because people worry about the safety of riders and other people who use the water. To address these worries, groups like the International Kiteboarding Association and the Global Kite Sports Association have made safety guidelines and certification programs for teachers and riders. These programs try to make kiteboarding a safer and more responsible sport and to reduce the risk that come with it. Even with all of these precautions, kiteboarding crashes and injuries still happen. Most of the time, these accidents happen because the rider did something wrong or didn't take enough safety measures. It's important for riders to follow safety rules, get the right training, and use the right gear to lower the risk of crashes. Concerns about the environment have also been made in some places because of kiteboarding. As the sport has become more famous, more people and more pollution have hurt some beaches and marine ecosystems. To deal with these problems, Many kiteboarding groups have started beach cleanups and other ways to protect the environment. Even with these problems, kiteboarding is still a sport that many people around the world enjoy. Kiteboarding is an exciting and rewarding activity that is hard to find anywhere else. It is good for your body, your mind, and the earth. As the sport continues to change and grow, it will likely continue to bring in new players and lead to new equipment and skill improvements. The rise of big air kiteboarding is one of the most exciting things to happen to kiteboarding in the past few years. Big air kiteboarding is a type of kiteboarding where the goal is to get as high as possible and stay up in the air for as long as possible while doing tricks. Big air kiteboarding is getting more and more famous because of events like the Red Bull, El King of the Air, which shows off the best big air kiteboarders in the world. 
Riders in these events use high-performance kites and boards and other specialized gear to get to amazing heights and do tricks that defy gravity. Kiteboarding as a way to travel and explore is another exciting thing that has come out of the sport. Kiteboarding has become a popular way for adventurers to explore the world's coasts and rivers because it can be used to travel long distances and get to remote places. In the past few years, kiteboarding trips have gone to remote islands in the Pacific, crossed the English Channel, and even went all the way around the world. These adventures have pushed the edges of what is possible in kiteboarding and inspired new generations of riders to go out and see the world. Lastly, Kiteboarding has become a popular way for athletes and artists to show off their skills and creativity. Kiteboarders have appeared at a wide range of events and shows in recent years. From the opening ceremony of the 2016 Rio Olympics to Cirque du Soleil shows. As kiteboarding grows and changes, it's likely to keep inspiring new ways to be creative. Try new things. And have adventures. Whether you're a pro or just starting out. Kiteboarding is a unique and satisfying sport that can't be found in any other. So why not give it a shot and see where the wind takes you? In the history of kiteboarding, the growth of the business and the creation of specialized gear are also important events. As kiteboarding has grown in popularity, companies have made a wide range of kites, boards, harnesses, and other items that are made for the sport. Today, Kiteboarding gear comes in many different forms, sizes, and materials, and each has its own advantages and benefits. Kites can be small and quick for freestyle and riding waves, or big and strong for big air and racing. There are also different forms and sizes of boards that are best for freestyle riding, wave riding, and other types of riding. Kiteboarding has not only led to improvements in tools, but also in safety technology. Modern kiteboarding gear has things like quick-release safety methods that let riders get rid of their kite quickly and easily in case of an emergency. There are also helmets, impact vests, and gadgets that help you stay afloat. As the sport continues to grow and change, it will likely continue to push designers of equipment and safety technology to come up with new ideas and make progress. This will make kiteboarding easier and more fun for people of all skill levels. And it will also help keep the sport safe and responsible. Overall, the past of kiteboarding is a story of creativity, innovation, and new experiences. From its early days as a fringe activity to its current status as a popular sport, kiteboarding has inspired many riders around the world and continues to offer a unique and exciting way to connect with nature. Kiteboarding is a sport with a lot of options and difficulties, both on and off the water, for both experienced riders and people who have never tried it before. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment to help the channel to grow. Thanks for watching.